Hello world, how y'all doing? Not a beautiful day, huh? Ah, the smell of fresh air, what's good? Look, um, someone was asking me what's my thoughts on the, uh, the Xbox Series X, Series X and S and PS5 physical and digital edition. The question I got for you guys is, um, you know, can you can um, they're, they're Sony and Microsoft are competitors, and they're, they're both gonna bring their bring their games, and they're both the both consoles is gonna get uh, DLCs, downloadable contents, and the both consoles are gonna get updates up the creek. If you, if you thought the PS4 and Xbox One got updates, the Series S, Series X, and the PS5, they're gonna get <laughs> ridiculous updates. So my question to you guys is this: What is your budget like? You know, can you can you handle both console? At, can you handle both consoles, or do you prefer one over the other? You know, and um, uh, you know what type of gamer are you? You know, you know, and um, I'm saying, are you ready? Are you ready to get the? Are you ready to get the the the, the Xbox Series X and PS5? Are you ready to get it? You know, if not. You can wait a couple, about a couple more months. Me personally, I'm not even ready for none of them consoles right now. Really, ain't I, I won't be ready for the for the for those for for those consoles until about August and September of next year. But right now, I'm just not ready right now. You know what I'm saying? So, so me personally, I'm not jealous of anybody. You know what I'm saying? About uh, I'm jealous of anyone who's getting the PS5 or Xbox Series X. My hats off to them. Go get it. You know, you know. Um, but back to the people uh, who asked me this question, you know, like, you know, what's your budget like, you know, can you afford both? Do you prefer one over the other? The only issue I got with the, the series, uh, series, X, series X and PS5 is this. Instead of like jump, jumping straight to, uh, to SSD, what Sony and Microsoft should have done was said, okay, you know, both these consoles can use SSD, no problem. But you still can use a USB 3.0 hard drive and save your and save your uh, your Xbox Xbox Series X games or your PS5 games, you know. But you do have the option to use SSD, you know, because they're kind of expensive, you know. So that's what that's my only that's my only issue with the the Xbox Series X and PS5. But other than that, you know, they're they're, they're both gonna be they're they're both gonna be good. And the the difference between the difference between the Xbox Series S and the PS5 Digital Edition, they're both digital console, but they're both digital console. But what both of them do, they help you save clutter, clutter in your house. You know, you don't have to buy anything physical, so you have to keep both those console online to get the full benefit of, of both of them, the P Xbox Series S and the PS5 Digital Edition. So you have to keep them both online. So. Yeah. They uh they help you reduce uh clutter you know clutter clutter in your house if you don't like if you don't like to have physical copies of games but you must have both those consoles online you have to keep it online you have to keep it online to get the benefits of those consoles and then both those consoles like uh help you help you help you save money if you don't um want to get the physical edition of the Xbox Series X. Or the PS5 uh, physical edition. So both uh, Xbox Series S digital edition and PS5 digital edition, they're both good. Um, um, which means that, I mean, they can handle they, they, the, the Xbox Series S can handle games in 4K. So so can the, uh, the PS5 digital edition. But but you you'd have to upgrade your TV, of course, but. If you ain't got the money, if you don't want to upgrade your TV right now, you can still use them. You know, you can still use them. So they they just help you. They help. They they save you a little money. You don't have to spend the the full five hundred like the PS Five Digital Edition. Digital Edition is like three ninety nine. The Xbox Series S is two ninety nine. So it helps you save you some money, and um, you don't have to spend the full five hundred bucks. For the p for the xbox series x or the ps5 uh, physical edition so yeah um but but the dig but the digital edition of the xbox series s xbox series s and ps5 digital edition they're both good but you got to keep those system online to get the full benefits of them you just won't be dealing with any physical copies of games and that's it that's it
Nice talking to you beautiful people. Chris, you know it's a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. Go. Peace.